Come on in. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill, and I'm here for a very special treat. Uh, first and foremost, I'm in a fantastic uh, Renegade. It's a 2022 Valencia, and today we're going to focus on how to use the Firefly app. Uh, so Firefly is also known as Vega Touch or Mira. Uh, we'll show you kind of a little tutorial on how it works and why it's such a huge advantage to those of you who are out there in the RV world doing some comparison shopping. It's really something that sets this manufacturer apart from others. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill and I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. It is a beautiful day here in Frederick, Colorado. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, as always, if you have any comments, any questions, thumbs up, thumbs down. These are live videos on Facebook. They're also broadcast at our YouTube channel, uh, Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Uh, please be kind, but please respond. If you've got anything to say, any questions to ask, just you know, go ahead and click on in and we'll go ahead and answer as many questions as we can while we're doing this broadcast. Uh, so first and foremost, I think it's always good to start from the back. Typically I send Jody on back, but being that this is a bath and a half model, uh, this is again a Renegade Valencia. This is a 38 RV. Uh, this has a bath and a half, which is a super luxurious feature. Um, first and foremost, take a look at this. So you have your own private quarters back here in the restroom area. So huge, huge medicine cabinet. Um, I love this super solid cherry wood. Uh, there's just nothing like this in the manufacturing community. They really do a magnificent job. Nice place to keep all of your toilet paper, maybe some of those uh, that, uh, little uh, flush things that you have to keep your uh, potty smelling good. And then another gigantic amount of space here in your medicine cabinet. Again, just really nice, super solid cabinetry, polished surface countertops, nice undermount sinks. Again, more area here, smart use where you put your toilet paper roll. And then look at all of this space that you have here uh, for towels and the like. So you could easily have some really comfortable, nice little bins for when you're out there camping and you want to have your own private area. And I wanted to also show you, look at the size of this shower. So plenty of room in here, a nice skylight up above. Uh, you'll notice that the shower head is not on. We do have this vehicle winterized. We'll talk a little bit about that throughout this video as well. Um, but as you can see, fantastic fan in the shower, plenty of room, great, great place to get ready in the morning. And most importantly, you have privacy. So not only do you have privacy into the bedroom, but you also have privacy here into the restroom. So if you want to get up a little bit ahead of everybody else and start your day, you've got these fantastic solid wood doors. And uh, you know, that's one thing that Renegade does better than anybody else is cabinetry. Uh, the Amish, you know, in Elkhart, Indiana, uh, manufacture these RVs for us, and they just do a magnificent job at construction. So if you haven't had the chance to take a look at what is available to you in these RVs, just note that this solid wood construction with this dovetail finish, these great, really, you know, rugged handles make this much more of a motor cabin over a motor coach. I like also that you can adjust these lights. You've got individual switches here. Uh, we have, of course, both day and night shades with vents on either side, so lots of good cross ventilation. Uh, we don't just have a hanging wardrobe here. We have a fantastic wardrobe that actually is uh, dual zone, so you can remove this. So if you want to bring your evening gowns out with you on your camping trip, you've got plenty of room for them. No, maybe they're not evening gowns, I'm just teasing. Uh, maybe you've got, uh, if you're a dirt bike rider and you've got any of that heavy uh, armor that you're going to carry in your coach with you, plenty of room for longer things. If you're somebody who wants to keep your wetsuits, you know, here stored uh, while, you know, you're heading out to Baja uh, for some coastal visits, great place there. Uh, typically in my Verona, I have stacked all my bedding on the bottom and then I have a his and hers uh, for us in the bedroom. Uh, so here you'll see that we have all of our tele, uh, telematics. So nice place there. Of course, you've got your insignia TV up here. Again, great amount of uh, ventilation. You've got an emergency exit here. 
and then more storage awesome place if you wanted to keep your hiking boots potentially and then let me just show you all of this drawer storage here as well so great full extension drawers there's all of your original manuals so just great great storage and then four more gigantic doors here above i'm sorry below another wardrobe so fantastic if anyone couldn't hear me i'm sorry i just had my hand over the mic um, so like i said these are live videos but they're really important to us because they give us an opportunity to show you things you know like these little recessed led lights um, in, in your wardrobe that just really kind of differentiate and make this a better manufacturer than most. Uh, two 110 outlets here. On either side of these bed stands you have a, again uh, 110 outlet and then two USB ports with nightstands. And uh, this is going to have uh, two air conditioning units on, uh, on the unit. So you're going to have two 15,000 BTU AC units with heat pumps as well so lots of nice cool air for you here in the bedroom and then really importantly something that i'd like to talk about today and that we're going to focus on a little bit is we're going to focus on this system here so we're going to go ahead and just sign in for you so you can see this on the screen i'm going to go to my mira app it's also known as vega touch so if you were looking for this you could also uh, search for firefly and when i click on this app you'll see what happens is it loads in, it's connecting right now, and what's so nice about this is even though we've got light switches throughout the unit, I have an all off switch right here where I could turn all my lights off or I could turn all my lights on. I could also just take a look and I could turn on individual lights throughout, uh, throughout the coach if I wanted to get ready for bed. I could turn my exterior lights on, also my bedroom and my bathroom lights. So I've got great controls here, uh, which I think is a really, really nice feature. And you'll also note that I can see what my fresh water uh, capacity is at, my gray water, my black water, my LP. And then I can also see that this coach is set with a solar system. And I can actually take a look here at what my charge rate is and uh, what kind of voltage I have coming in. So I've got all sorts of really nice settings here. Um, and one of the, the nice features about this is this is on my phone. Now, Avin, if you don't mind, we'll go ahead and pan back to Jody, where we can take a look at where this is here in the bedroom as well. So all of those same features are here on this control panel. And you'll get two of these throughout the coach. Um, but it's really interesting, you know. So you go in here to log into the mobile app. It's very easy. But you can use this to control your slides. You can use it to control your climate, your temperature. Uh, if you wanted to start your generator, you could do it here in the bedroom. But one of the things that I really like about that is I can also do this here on my app. So I can even start my generator from my app, which means if I'm driving down the road and I've got a kid who wants to maybe make a burrito in the microwave or maybe do some laundry for me in this washer and dryer uh, that you have here in the center of the unit, I can turn all of that stuff on with my app while I'm driving down the road. So you've got the two-piece blended optional washer and dryer in this unit as well. And I think uh, one of the things that's really nice about this is it is something that you can do while you're driving. Now, Jody, I'm going to close the door on you for just a second so I can show off once again. There's so much privacy in this coach. Um, it's just really quite spectacular. But so we have another, uh-oh, hung up on something. Uh, we have another door here that, oh, there's two doors, Jody. Is that what you're saying? I'm not hung up on anything. Thank God for my cameraman. So here we go. So in my Verona, I only have a single door that separates. But so once again, really nice solid wood construction. And um, I couldn't even break it, although I was trying to just now. Uh, but like I said, so you've got one room back there uh, where you can get ready. You've got your bedroom right here. You've got another separation of space here in between uh, the bedroom and then the galley. And then I'm going to have another place where I can have a little privacy if I need so. And that's here in this mid bath. So I really, really think that if uh, you're a family that's going out on the road, maybe you've got some friends that come with you often, you've got so much storage capacity here. So another fantastic medicine cabinet. 
You've got a, a GFI grounded outlet right here with two 110 outlets, so you've got a place you can keep your, refri or your uh, refrigerator. You can keep your hair dryer, your curling iron, and then more fantastic space underneath uh, your undermount sink once again. And all, all of this again with this solid wood construction. I cannot speak highly enough of the construction of this coach. And once again, I just love these very simple snaps. Close your bathroom door. So you have so many different places to get away and get ready in the morning. Really fantastic. Again, a fantastic fan up here. You've got more of these MCD shades. You've got both day and night shades. Uh, really easy to use. Um, but just a ton of functionality uh, for anybody who's looking for a motorhome. Now that's going to bring us up here into our uh, galley area. We've got an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Look at how complicated this latch is. There you go, it's locked. It's not locked. Uh, my daughter would still manage to get all of the uh, Coke and Dr. Pepper to fall out onto her toe in motion, um, even though it was that simple. But hey, got to do what you can to help out these kids these days. Um, seriously, like, I mean, we have a renegade. It's not hard. Like, dude, it's either locked or not locked. It's locked. But she still manages to leave it open after she gets out her Coke. Uh, so take a look at all this storage up here. This is just like a dream. Um, so one of the things that I've noticed in my Renegade is I've had a really hard time utilizing all of the storage that we have in this RV. So um, I do encourage you to note that this is just a fantastic offering for space. And then over here we have this really cool slide out pantry. Just awesome. Um, very, very nice touch by Renegade. Again, just super solid cabinetry. Another gigantic drawer. And one of the things that's interesting about this RV is um, the amount of space that you have here in the front. This is a two slide unit. Um, this has got propane on board. If you want to go to an all electric coach, we have that offering in the Verona. This is the Valencia level. Uh, Valencia has a 20, uh, uh, 20 gallon propane tank, 150 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray water, and 75 gallons of black water, which is fantastic. Uh, and then, of course, it's got a 100-gallon fuel capacity with an 8-kilowatt Onan generator, which really makes this ideal for, bo for boondocking. But what makes this even more ideal for boondocking is, this, is that this coach also has the optional uh, three panels on top of 170 watts each, I'm sorry, 175 watts each, giving you a total of 525 watts of solar, along with three lithium-ion batteries. So all of those things combined make this a fantastic unit for anybody who's looking to get off the beaten path for an extended period of time. Uh, you'll note here, we do have a very nice three burner cooktop. And I did put these panels aside. I just wanted to kind of show everybody how they worked. So you have two panels here. One fits right here in place and covers your cooktop. They have a little lip here, so they are gonna stay in place. They won't slide off of the counter. And then there's a nice vent back here as well. Uh, so really cool that they have storage for those so they're out of the way if you are camping and you just don't need to have them on there. I love that we actually have a towel rack here for your kitchen towels. Honestly, this is something that's lacking in almost all of the RVs that we sell at the higher end and it's really a huge convenience to have one of those. Um, here's all of your breaker switches. You'll note that you have all of your 800 numbers, uh, the color of your, interior, of your exterior. Uh, this is the crimson exterior. You'll, you'll see that when we go outside. Uh, but everything is just really, really uh, nicely labeled. You know, you can see your refrigerator, bedroom. All your breakers are right here. Uh, so very, very organized, easy to access. Great uh, design by Renegade on that, um, on that level. And then once again, fantastic separation of storage. So one of the nicest things about having an RV like this that has so many drawers is that you can keep everything organized. You have, you know, place for your spatulas, for your spices, for your dish towels. I mean, pastas, pots, pans, anything that you might need. This would be a great place for a pot if you wanted to, you know, put some boiling pots in there. And then underneath here, look at how much storage you have. Um, 
underneath here. So just fantastic storage here if you wanted to put some frying pans. And then a huge space for a trash can. You can even uh, do what we do. We stack a silver one is going to be for inside, the black one's for outside, and then the blue one's for recycling. Stack them inside when we take off. We're good to go. And again, with 150 gallons of fresh water, you can really get out there and camp for quite a long time. Now, something that Renegade does, I think, uh, better than anybody else is sleeping accommodations. So we have a king size bed back here. That's a 72 by 70 king size bed. We have a queen size bed up here in this couch that folds out. And I'll show that to you in a minute. We have this little setup here, which if I pull this over and I drop this down. Uh oh, do I have unlocked or locked? Yep, there we go. So if I drop this down, I've got another cushion so I can turn this into a bed as well. And then above the driver's area, I have a bunk over cab that is 66 by 80. So I'm sorry, 60 by 80, not 66. So 60 uh, by 80. So that's another uh, space where you could have two people. So this RV could very easily sleep up to eight people very comfortably. And I think that that's just really, really neat. Now, for those of you who are like, okay, that's great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip back to our app once again. Avin, let me know when you've got it. Just tell Jody. Tell me when you're there. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna click on this little guy. So I just push the arrow here. I'm gonna click on this little guy down here below. Maybe. Let's go home first. Uh, oh, I think that my sharing is, is not making things happy. Let me just go back into that. I'm gonna go ahead and close this app. Go back into Vega Touch. Right there, log in. It's pairing right now. You can see this is how, how quick it is. It's very, very easy to pair. Uh, this does not currently work while you are away from the RV. You need to be in the RV for this to work. We're going to go here to the slide control, confirm, and now we're going to go to our slides. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to retract our front slide. And the reason I want to do this is because I think it's really important to show people that, first of all, I can do this on the fly, but take a look at how much walking space we're gonna have uh, in this RV with these slides all the way in. Because this is just a fantastic amount of room. And um, this is one of the things where Renegade really outperforms the rest. They've got a very efficient use of space, uh, but if you've got kids that are traveling with you, especially since you've got three seat belts, two seat belts, two more, so enough room for seven people to be belted in. Um, if you've got kids that are traveling with you, having this much walking space, I mean, this is real, you guys. This is how much living space you have in this coach. Uh, this is how much space that you have in this coach with your slides in. So this is a fantastic amount of space. And as you can see, what I was doing is I actually was using my phone to retract these slides. And right now, while I'm talking to you, I'm actually just holding this button down and I'm bringing this rear bedroom slide in as well. So really, really cool feature that you can actually just really have great command of your RV. And if you're sitting in the front driver's seat, um, and then I'll show you in a few minutes, uh, more importantly, if you're outside at night, kids are asleep, wife putting the baby down, you pull up, you, 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 it's late, you wanna get set up, you can go outside with your phone and have complete control and dominion of your RV without having to have someone spot you from inside while you're opening and closing your coach. Now keep in mind, we still have all of this slide control here. So I still have all of the same functionality where if I wanted to control my slides from the inside of the coach, I could do this from here. I can also do it from the bedroom and I can do it from my phone. So a really, really big advantage when it comes uh, to how Renegade operates their, uh, their RVs. Now we have a little more room up here. As you can see, you could definitely have a crock pot up here, maybe some taller dishes if you wanted to have a rice cooker. Maybe if you're a family that likes to have pasta, you could bring a big pot or you could have enough of a pot for a crawfish boil if you're down south. Um, this high point microwave is both a microwave and uh, convection oven. Uh, we've been using high point for years. I have a lot of people that go, oh my gosh, are you using high point because of the appliance shortage? No, we just like high point. We've been using high point forever. My 2020 Verona has got high point in it. Um, lots of room here for plates, dishes, uh, cups, coffee mugs, most importantly, I'd say. 
Uh, but yeah, tons and tons of storage here. And once again, really fantastic, solid cherry cabinetry the whole way through. Nice undermount sink with a residential faucet head. Uh, and then your Insignia TV here is a 40 inch and it does have a uh, Bluetooth available uh, sound bar. Fantastic sound bar. You pull this latch, this comes off of the wall so you could have everyone in the family watching TV, whether they're in the booth, on the couch, or maybe if they're sitting over here um, on, uh, on one of the recliners, these both do turn around. Um, now this space above us here is really fantastic. As you can see, this slides out and turns into, again, a 60 by 80 inch uh, bed set up top with two mattresses, very comfortable for two people. Uh, you've got, again, your, you've got another controller. This is going to be for your a receiver for your TV. And then you have another Insignia TV up here, so another 24 inch monitor that is an optional feature. But look at this nice space to, for the kids to keep their cell phones, uh, for them to keep all of their stuff. So they have kind of their own little area. And then with this curtains, they can have some privacy. So if you have teenagers that just don't really want to be bothered, lots and lots of nice room uh, in this bunk over cab. And in 2021, uh, Renegade did come out with a bunk over cab available in the Verona as well, because this has been a very popular feature for us. Even if you don't have kids, I mean, just to be able to put uh, storage up there, paddle boards, helmets, uh, golf bags, any kind of gear that you like, all of that can go up here. And this just slides into place and makes that whole area, uh, again, 60 inches uh, deep and 80 inches long. Uh, there's also a uh, screened window up here on the left, so you've got fresh air into this cabin as well. If you have a 17-year-old, you probably need that. Um, bad joke, huh, Jody? Um, I'm going to try. Sorry, I keep going back to my phone. I don't normally have this phone interface during the videos that we're trying to do this broadcast, um, but I can't let it go down or we lose that connection, so I'll just keep touching it. But let's go back here and let's just take a look a little bit uh, at this system here. I don't know if you noticed when I uh, opened up my phone, but I do have the Equalizer app on my phone as well. You do have hydraulic leveling jacks. Um, I am on an air ride heated seat as well. Uh, your parking brake, you've got your Garmin here. Uh, you've got, you know, really nice side control cameras. I wonder, let me just turn this on really quick. We just take a quick look at this. An Allison uh, transmission is, of course, as well. Uh, so equalizer leveling jacks, lock and unlock, heated mirrors, a power outlet here. So if you want to put in a uh, radar detector because you're speeding down the road in your RV, well, first of all, you're crazy, but second of all, you could do it. You'll know, you could probably put it right here because you don't really need a rear view mirror. On that note though, I'd say, I know Matt's out there watching all of these videos. Matt gives you three things he likes and three things he doesn't. There's only one thing missing in this RV and it's the place for me to do my lip gloss. Uh, but on that note, uh, you've got, you know, you've got uh, Bluetooth for your cell phone these days, which is great. You also have your great air horn, uh, power windows. Uh, of course, you see here is your odometer. You've got all of your tack control right here very easily uh, located and uh, backup camera as well. This does have the optional uh, brake, uh, integrated brake system for the RV as well. Uh, and then, let me see if I can just load, let me load this, lower this down. You know, I might do this from outside instead of inside, so you could see it. But here, I'm going up, and then I can just go all the way down. So these great air ride seats, and then you also have an adjustable, oops, uh, steering column here, so you can get that nice and low in your lap, so that's very cool. Uh, power mirrors, I know I already mentioned that they are heated as well. And then here you have a great place to keep your cell phone. A huge improvement in this is it's a much deeper pocket than it was previously. And of course, this is on a Freightliner custom chassis. And um, I think I mentioned already that this is uh, the uh, 360 horsepower uh, Cummins engine married to the Freightliner custom chassis. And it's got 800 foot pounds of torque. So for those of you that are out here in this segment looking at a V8 or a V10 by Ford versus uh, this uh, engine. You know, one of the things I had someone tell me the other day, oh, the Ford, there's a few Fords that have 600 and some odd foot-pounds of torque. No, they don't. 
Uh, they have 400 and some odd foot pounds of torque. And if you're here in the Rocky Mountains or if you're in the Appalachians or if you're in the Sierra Nevadas, wherever it is, because turbo diesels are always turbo based engines, so they've got that compressed oxygen in that cylinder. You get a bigger bang for your buck from a diesel perspective, so better fuel efficiency, but more importantly, you've got more consistent power at higher altitudes. This has a 12,000 pound towing capacity. So really, really big deal uh, as opposed to what most of those uh, comparable RVs out there in that C-Class segment with that V8 or V10 by Ford. They're gonna have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. And even our Canyon Star, which is a fantastic offering by Numar, has a 6,000 pound towing capacity. So a 12,000 pound towing capacity on this RV at different altitudes is really going to be a game changer for you in terms of being comfortable while you're out there on the road. Um, so the chairs are super comfortable. They both swivel. You've got a curtain here that covers the whole front. It kind of wraps around. You've got a curtain here that goes across the slide bar that you see as well. You've got your JBL speakers overhead. Uh, just a really amazing coach for people who want to get out there on the road with their kiddos. Okay, still have my screen up. See, I've still got my screen going. All right, speaking of screens, how awesome is this? Uh, this is a great screen. Really, really nice screen here. Great place to keep all the bugs out if you want to hand over a beer. Really easy beer access right there. Uh, keep the pets inside. Really nice screen door. Uh, of course, we have our fire extinguisher, we have our step lock, and then we have our battery disconnect for the, uh, for the house right here. The chassis get disconnect is on the other side in the top of the bay, uh, but really, really easy to turn your coach on and off. And as Jody comes out here, I want you to see some of the things that we've changed. One of the nice things is they had a ridged finish on these steps before where stuff would just get stuck in there. My, my Verona has the ridged finish. So I really like that they've taken this really nice laminate flooring all the way down to the exit so for a super clean look. And then here on the outside, we have this fantastic crimson exterior. Uh, there's a few different choices. This is definitely one of those that gets a lot of attention. And as you'll note here, beautiful convex chrome mirrors, great step here. Um, one of the nice things that Freightliner does is they're very interested in making sure that you have easy access into the cab. So you have a grab handle here, you have a grab handle here, you have a grab handle here. So really anybody who wants to access this RV is going to be able to very easily get in and always have uh, three points of control to get in and out of that cab. So I think that that's a very important feature to mention. Um, of course, you've got these great Bridgestones that are 22 and a half inches. And I am going to show you right here. So here's that side camera. So when you turn your signal on, you are going to have a camera on the left, a camera on the right, and a rear view backup camera. But one of the things that's really attractive about Renegade is all we build are Super Cs. So you have this great, easy to access engine. So you can go ahead and fill your, wa your uh, washer fluid, check your oil, and you'll see over here in red, that is the marriage of Cummins to Freightliner. So anything red in there is gonna be a Cummins product. Anything that is black is gonna be that Freightliner custom chassis. So just a fantastic offering uh, by Freightliner. Uh, now you'll notice we're back on the outside. We're gonna go ahead and switch over, Avid, if you don't mind, to awnings. And I'd like to just show very easily how nice it is for me to be able to retract this awning. So I'm retracting your awning and I'm doing this from outside of the RV. So let's say for instance, I was setting up uh, and I was getting ready for breakfast in the morning and there was a tree that might be a little bit close to where my awning was going to extend to. I can sit here and actually push this. And it's funny because when I do my Numar videos, a lot of times I'll be putting my awning in and I won't know whether or not it's all the way in because I can't see it. Uh, so I really, really love this Firefly app. Now I do have a new uh, Super C coming in for myself in November and I won't have my Firefly app and I'm really, really sad about it. Uh, I'll let you know how all of that goes. It's kind of an experiment that I'm having. Uh, but you'll see that this Gerard awning has LED lights below. Those elbows just pop in, so very, very little impact and a very, very clean look. So there we go, all slid in. And once again, I just used my app the entire time. Uh, so here you've got a 3000 watt inverter. Uh, your Magnum inverter is a hybrid inverter. This is designed to work with your solar panels. 
And again, you have three solar panels on top of this unit. Um, the dual latch system that you have on these Renegade doors makes them super solid and super sturdy. And then here, of course, we have our outside Insignia TV, once again, with a, with a Bluetooth uh, sound bar. So even if you're not into watching television, if you just want to listen to a little Jimi Hendrix while you sit by the fire, you can do that. Um, look at how much space you have here. So this is very, very cool. So this has a really nice amount of space and then it also has something here where if you wanted to run your uh, cord in through here, so you could plug your blender in here and then run it so that it was running outside so you'd have your margarita station outside of your RV. I know all of you were already thinking that. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I am going to Miami for Halloween, you guys. So go figure that I might be a little wild like that. So here we go. Uh, so plenty of room right here uh, in this bay for paddle boards, whatever it might be that you want. All of this carpet lined so it won't be a rattle box. And then once again, we were talking a little bit about how we might show you how this slide control can work. So here again, so here's this rear slide. And let's say it's late at night and I wanna get ready for bed. Kids are you know, getting put down, maybe feeding the dogs. All I have to do is sit here with my phone and I can sit here and look and make sure I'm not gonna run into a tree. I can sit there and make sure I'm not gonna hit one of the light posts, whatever it might be, and go ahead and extend and retract my RV awning, I'm sorry, slides from outside of my coach with this app. Super, super handy. Um, here we go, another great uh, out exterior, um, uh, exterior bay. And then this is another optional feature here. And you'll note that we have the quick release in the, um, in the next bay over, we've got the hose that comes with that. So this RV is really loaded up with all of the most convenient optional features. Uh, so you've got your air truck, you've got your propane quick release, you've got water, um, everything that you need to really be able to go out there on the road camping. And you could be trackside with this bad boy, you know, you've got something that you could barbecue with and use your grill, uh, run off your propane tank. Again, you've got a 20 gallon propane tank. Uh, you've got a seven way connector right here on the back. Again, they do have the optional brake controller on this RV, and this is, again, a 12,000-pound hitch. And what a fantastic uh, rear look we have here for the Valencia. Great-looking Super C, really great bang for your buck. Um, you know, having something this quality under $300,000 in this segment is just amazing. Um, a lot of times people say, why don't you offer pricing? Um, because if I offer pricing, then I'm going to have my video removed from the internet. So if you have any questions about pricing, either click on the comments down below, you can follow the link, or you can reach out to me, and I would be happy to email you the build sheet of this RV, as well as a nice price point for you to consider. Uh, here at TransWest, all of your financing is done before you come to pick up. All of your offer, all of your options are offered to you. If you want to know what an extended warranty cost or what a tire warranty might run, all of that's given to you well in advance of you ever setting foot into the business office. And when you come in to do your paperwork, you can really just sign your documents because you've already presented everything to you up front. You don't have to worry about getting that last minute big decision close. Um, the other thing that's really amazing about this dealership is that, uh, for instance, right now I have a client that's about to do a walk. What's a walk? A walk is a full orientation. The full orientation will commence at 11.30. It'll last anywhere between two and six hours, however long they need. We do, uh, we do blocks of three hours each, so typically it's a three hour uh, walk. And what that is is an orientation where you get to go through the entire coach. How do I you know, attach my uh, trailer? How do I fill my tanks? How do I rinse out my black water tank? You know, where's my power hose reel? Um, you know, all of those things that you have as a consumer, everything's get gone over with you during your orientation. And then after you've walked through your entire coach, made sure everything is down to the penny right on what you'd like to have in your RV, then you go do your paperwork. And I think that that's just a really phenomenal offering, speaks to the caliber of the products that we carry here and the quality of the ownership of this dealership. So really, really nice features there. Uh, here in this rear bay here, we're gonna have uh, the surge protector. We also have the optional power uh, hose reel. This power cord hose reel is power cord reel. Power, yeah, I don't ever get that one right. But anyway, it's 36 feet long and it, you don't have to just, like wrap it up and roll it in there. You just push the little button and it retracts and it goes to that hole right there and that's very nice. Um, I know I've already mentioned that we have an eight 
1,000 watt or eight kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator. Uh, again, one of those cool things, if you want to switch back to that, uh, to that um, screen, Avon, I'm going to see if I can just pop over here to electricity. And right here, all I have to do is push the start button. And now I'm going to go ahead and start my generator. So I just started my generator from the outside of my coach. Um, really, really amazing that I can do all of this uh, right outside. And then I can also stop my generator. Uh, for those of you are, that are wondering, this is one of those generators where you can have it set to uh, start whenever you hit a particular temperature or voltage on your battery. So this does have auto start. So auto gen starts a big feature. Uh, here we are in our water bay. So I wanted to show this. I don't show this very often, but as you can see here, we have a whole house water filter. If I push retract, there's my, my uh, city water hose. I can just pull that right in here. You'll notice that some of that uh, winterizer comes out, but it rolls right in there. Cover the bay. This little guy here is where you keep your sewer hose. So nice little compartment there to keep everything. Um, really just really well organized. Very, very uh, great, efficient use of space. And then you've got your low drain point right there. I mean, just couldn't get any easier. Of course, here's where your hose attachment goes. As you can see, nice long bay here. Uh, and then these tanks are going to have two uh, 110 outlet or 110 uh, heat pads attached or strips uh, attached to both of them. So you do have heated gray and black water tanks. And that 150 gallons I probably should have shown you was underneath your bed. So your water's not going to freeze. But uh, we do winterize all of the coaches here. Uh, when this client comes in to take delivery, we are going to uh, de-winterize this coach, show you how all of the water feature works, and then if you're planning on storing the coach outside after you take delivery in the winter, we would be happy to re-winterize that coach. So you still get to have that full walkthrough, full demonstration, see how everything runs, check your water lines, and then we're happy to re-winterize that coach for you. Um, again, here's your 20.3-gallon uh, uh, propane tank. And then in the next bay, you'll notice that this is where we have our lithium ion battery packs as well as our chassis batteries on a nice slide tray, easy to access. And then again, fantastic access to everything. You've got your def fluid here. Uh, you've got your fuel tank uh, somewhere here in the front as well. You also have your uh, plug here, this is for your engine block heater. So if you've got a cold morning that you're starting on, you've got that as well. Nice convex mirrors. Uh, for those of you who are curious, absolutely, you do have uh, slide toppers standard on all of your slides. And again, this is a Valencia 38, uh, M 38 RB. We have a 38 BB, which is a bunk bed. Uh, so that's another option. If you wanted to have bunks, you could actually sleep gosh, like 10 kids if you really wanted to. So really, really amazing offerings available uh, through Renegade on this Valencia product. We have a question. Go ahead, please. Yeah, we absolutely have, we have, well, we, I don't know if we'll have a 2018, but we absolutely have a 2022 20, uh, uh, 38 BB would be the bunk model for uh, Renegade. And then also offered uh, now by uh, Renegade, we have, a, we have a 40 VBH as well. So we have two bunk models with bunk over cab offered by Renegade currently. So absolutely. Here's my information. On that note, uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trail RV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thanks for asking questions live during our video presentation. I hope I've helped to explain a little bit as to why this is such a huge advantage uh, for this flyer, Firefly system uh, or the Vega Mirror Touch, however you want to refer to it. Uh, this is a fantastic offering by Renegade. Uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. I'd love to answer any questions that I can. And I really appreciate all of your time. Uh, we will be back on Monday. Uh, this coming week, you'll have somebody else. I'll be in Miami. All right, you guys. Happy Halloween. Thanks so much.